Hello there. Welcome back to Pokemon Thursday. Bravasar. Witness the face that would fuck anybody up. It's very dehydrating doing these Pokemon videos. Sink water isn't very nice. Also, oh, vine whip your way out of here. It's not working. It's not working. I was hoping him. I was hoping it just. But no. The plan was to make him look like he was vine whipping. You could see me throughout the whole thing. It didn't work very well. What's today's topic? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Daniel. Today's topic is my favourite bad guy teams in the Pokemon games. Them little rascals from Team Rocket and those hotheads and cool people in Magma and Aqua. <laughs> hotheads worked for Magma, but uh need a better one for Aqua. Do we think if Poplio goes right up my nose, we'll get a minging water squirt? Feels like it's on the brain. Uh, I don't like that. Yes, the Pokemon bad guy teams. Arguably one of the biggest key components of any Pokemon game. There's always a lot of speculation when the new games come out. What the team's going to be like, what they're going to be called, that, how they're going to be, what's their like aim, what's their... What's the word I'm looking for? What's their, their, their reason for doing what they're doing? I can't get the words out. <laughs> Basically, the, the, the teams have always been a big part of the games, uh, and you always have to deal with them and get involved with them and stop them throughout the games. And each team brings a different reason of why, what they want and their purpose and why they're doing what they're doing. And each team, that's what I wanted to say earlier. And um, each team needs a different way of taking them down, usually the same sort of way, but thingy. And there's always the legendary sometimes involved. So, yeah, the teams are very always unique and awesome and just fun to interact with. Of course, some teams were a bit lackluster, still alright, but lackluster, and some teams were just epic, you love them and you remember them forever. So here are my favourite bad guy teams, well, all the bad guy teams in order from worst to best. What a gun! Oh, last time I did that, I got my posters wet, I did it again. <laughs> fucking idiot. Pretty pie cry. <laughs> Probably sticks in my beard, and it goes, man. It's very... <laughs> I'm all wet now and I've got my papers wet. Let's start off with number seven. Right, and kicking off our list is Team Flair. I never know where I stand with Team Flair. I, I, I don't really like the way they looked, but I didn't think they were off. I don't know, it's weird, but that's why they're at the bottom of the list. Um, led by Lysander, they wanted to create the beautiful, perfect world by using the ultimate weapon. And Lysander's scary looking, he looks like a walking lion. But yeah, the grunts were a bit funny. They all had the. I think they're the only team to like have their emblem not on their shirts or out. It was on their belt. I believe it was. Yeah, it was a belt buckle, wasn't it? I think I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, they did. They impacted the game quite a bit. Um, the Lysander battles, I didn't mind. The, the grunts were what they were. Just typical grunts. But something about them just never fit right. They just felt like weird, fashion, catwalk people. I don't know. It didn't sit right. So they made it to the bottom of the list. And you know, creating the reenact activating the ultimate weapon was just a bit of a bit of a no-no. Next up, we've got Team Aqua. Aqua. I was gonna ah, taste so rank. I was gonna put them with um, Team Magma because similar sort of goals. Just obviously, one wants land, one wants loads of water, which is a stupid idea because even they realise where the hell you're going to go if there's just water everywhere. Plus, the only reason why they're further down and I've separated them is because I'm Team Groudon in the whole Team Groudon, Team Koga thing, so that they can just go down the list a bit. Led by Archie, not much really to say about them. They wanted a lot of water everywhere. Pirates. They're Team Koga, so they're further down the list. Team Plasma. Now, Team Plasma, obviously, there's different roles from Black and White and Black and White 2. Black and White 2, they had two different teams. One was with Getsus, one was with N. In Black and White, uh, the goal was to take away Pokemon from their trainers, and Getsus wanted to, like, be the only Pokemon 
trainer in the world, the only person that has Pokemon and stuff like that. But the whole end stuff, the, it, it's sort of like, there was like, a, he's the, obviously the adopted son, there was a lot of different members, Chorus was in it. And the way they just spiraled out every, everywhere, and it, it took a load of different routes instead of just your basic format of a team, which was pretty cool, I liked that. Plus he wanted Kyrim and stuff, and Kyrim's badass. But yeah, and uh, they had that crazy pirate ship thing, it was pretty awesome. But uh, then the goal was somewhat reasonable from a bad guy's point of view, you can, yeah, okay, you can get behind that as a bad guy plot. Uh, again with the grunts, they're just fine, little bats, the little balaclavas and stuff, look, look cool as fuck. But I like their involvement, and I like that they changed it up for black and white to Black 2 and White 2, and having the whole end t thing tie in and chase him in the castle and stuff, and the castle touching up the league. It was just a pretty cool bad guy team. <coughs> Go to the uh, Sinnoh region now. We've got Team Galactic. I like all the space university type stuff. Obviously, Cyrus wanted to create the galaxy, the universe, and his image, but uh, each member was was given like a spacey type name, which again is just awesome. It was all tying in, making layers, but like there was other members like Saturn. That they just thought they were stealing Pokemon. They didn't realize Cyrus had this other alternative of making the world of the universe in his image, which is cool. Going after Dialga or Palkia and all that, depending on which game you play and stuff, is always a good idea because, again, from a bad, boy, bad guy point of view, two awesome legendary Pokemon. But it's mainly because of the whole space theme. I enjoyed battling him. He was quite a good bad guy, you know, the whole position and the angry face and stuff. I really like that. Um... But yeah, with all the space theme, it, everything, every layer felt spot on with the naming and stuff. And I enjoyed bumping into them every now and then. Team Galactic as well, it's just a good name, like Galactic, we want Galactic Domination. Plus it's close to Galactus and Galactus is awesome. Fantastic Four. <coughs> team Magma. I'm just Team Groudon all day, every day. <laughs> Led by Maxi. Again, it's the same as is Aqua, just they wanted more land mass, which we, we need the ocean, so it is a bit of a stupid idea. But the fact that there's a team going after one of my favourite legendary Pokemon, you know, come on. It can't be that bad. And yeah, Team Ground, I've got the, the Aqua versus Magma poster down there, and it's awesome to look at. So there's not much really to say on these, same as Aqua, led by Maxi, Hoenn region, going for Groudon, they're cool. <coughs> team Skull, yes. These are straight, jumped up to number two. I really like the um, introduction of Team Scott. I like the mannerisms where they're all giving it. It's awesome. Guzma, I think, is an amazing boss. He feels like... Because all the teams, effectively, are gangs, organisations, mobs, mafias, whatever. They are a very gangy gang. They could they could rap battle any other team and destroy them. But yeah, I like Guzma. I think it's cool. I think they look unique. You know, when the, the, the black paint and that comes up. I like Po Town. When you get to Po Town, it's all dark and rainy and... Just all a bit crazy. And Lusamine, um, being like a secret benefactor to Team Skull, the Eiffel Foundation, you think, oh, it's all good in paradise, but really there's, there's shenanigans going there, like a big conspiracy, and they're all working together. So really, the who you think is the good guys are with the bad guys, and it's it all tied in really well. It wasn't just a straightforward, oh, we want Pokemon, we're going to steal them, end of. There was loads going on, those different layers. And I enjoyed bumping into all of them. Team Skull, there you go. And of course, Team Rocket, the OG of the bad guys, the, the ones that set the limit to just all the other bad guys. And their goal was nice and simple. All they wanted to do was steal powerful Pokemon in the cage experiment, which is obviously is not cool. But I like the idea that, um, well, I don't like it, but it's kind of cool to like theorize about like coughing the experiment and it turn it into wheezing and stuff. But yeah, they just wanted lots of uh, lots of powerful Pokemon. They had like the, the um, casino and stuff going on. They had <coughs> the Silphco takeover. And then going to Viridian City, the doors locked. Like, why is that gym locked? Coming full circle and being like, ah, oh, crap, you're the leader of Team Rocket. I remember as a kid playing that. Oh, mind was blown. Genuine mafia mob lot. Giovanni's an intimidating character with his nice Persian. And he's just not asked. He's, he's a badass. He's not scared of anything. He's just like, Giovanni. He's definitely going to be Italian, okay? 100% Italian. <laughs> he might not be, but I'm just saying that he is. Just a really cool bad guy team. And the, like I said, the OGs, Team Rockets, popping up, Jesse and Jet, and yeah, they, they probably impact more season than ev any other teams every season, even when you go to regions and seasons with different teams. It's always Team Rocket lingering. Fair enough, it's Jesse and James, but, but they're disbanded now, of course. What's going to happen in the future with them? I'd like to see, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I'd like to see, like, a you get past Team Skull or whatever, 
but beneath was Team Rocket manipulating it all, all along. That would be pretty cool. Probably won't happen, but hey yo. That was my list of bad guys. Who were your favourite bad guys? Let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I justified good enough, good enough, good enough, gave a good enough reasons and explained enough why they wanted to do what they wanted to do. I'm really tired today. I had a long night at work. And my notes are all wet. Up there for ya. I'm still drinking it, it tastes like shit. Yes, definitely, 100%. Leave your comments down below. Thank you all once again for getting us high up the mark with the 200 subscriber lot. We're gonna be taking over Jake Paul next. Dabbing all that on them Team Rocket grunts. Team Rocket grunt, that's what they should do. Teams go next. When they didn't do a battle, they should do that. They just go. That'd be pretty nice. The dog's asleep. I don't know if you can hear me. The dog's asleep. Before the video goes, should we see if we can wake her up? Poplio, use water gun. <laughs> She's not us. I heard you've been stealing rare Pokemon from around here, dog. <laughs> I'm just making my room really wet. I'm pretty sure if if, if my dog could talk, she'd say I hate my owner. He annoys the fuck out of me. Love you, Lou. Hello. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I can see your head. Hello, girl. Oh, see, she loves me really. Ah, oh, you're all wet. Of course she is. I'm just spraying her. Yes, thank you for watching. And we will be back next week with some more Pokemon goodness. Oh, I don't know. There might be a Pokemon Go video up this week at some point. Depends. It's really hard to make one round here because just nothing good pops up. But I got my Entei. Here's, here's, a, here's a nice picture of my Entei that I caught. Yay, five attempts. Have a good day, people. Have a lovely week. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Party hard. Not too hard, though, eh? What the fuck am I doing with this outro? Thank you guys for watching. And the visuals. Keep on keeping on.